You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. Too dumb baby. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Freed. <laughs> Little Terminator lock-ins, too, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Scanning. What is the Terminator? On the cameras. Oh. oh. It's like it's tracking. Oh, you're, you're, you're watching yourself. Yeah, up. dude. Fucking. That's probably, that's probably the one thing I'm not supposed to do is look right at the camera, but yeah. we're not going to do it. Dude. That's why we had to put the screen <laughs> down before for you so that you didn't constantly <laughs> look over at the I'm sound like a dog, waves. dude. I'm like, what's that? What's that? <laughs> Blue lights. Oh, it's me. Hey, look, okay. it's me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mirror, you don't do well with mirrors either. That's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like that you. bear. You ever see that video of the bear in the woods punching the mirror? That's like. That's what oh, I do. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> it freaks it freaks out. Yeah. That's it's what I do. It's like, I'm going to fight another. So you think you're, you're, you've got to fight yourself. You don't know that it's you. Yeah. That's how I react to just anybody. <laughs> like, you know how a bear just fights other bears. That's how I react to people. <laughs> just see myself and like, fucking. You're like, all people look fuck like me. this guy, dude. <laughs> Most bears do look the same. I understand they don't. Yeah. Realize yeah, it's do you them think, and think it's another bear. You think bears are like, dude, we didn't really. All, we all look the same, dude. <laughs> yeah. You don't fucking. And then you see a I bear. I look nothing like and then that. And you bear. see a bear trying to attack itself in a mirror, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, we got lucky. Welcome back to Two Dumb Babies. What's up, guys? Um, we're here at Petty Cash Studios. Yeah, uh, shouts out. Petty Cash home. Studios. Thanks for having, we're, we figured, you know, we haven't made any money. It's time to start spending money. <laughs> yeah. That's say, the idea. They, you know, they say you have to spend money to make money. And the problem was yeah. we weren't spending money. Exactly. We were spending nothing. <laughs> that's the issue. And yeah. Now. And that's the only way I've ever heard to now make money. Now here comes yeah. the fucking, the we, big time. We dude, tried the big... manifesting. Manifesting wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about spending money to make money instead? Dude? We're just going to start investing soon. This yeah. is an investing podcast. Step right? four, coming soon. Yeah. Profit. <laughs> yeah. One of these days, dude. <laughs> I love a good step three fucking figure it out. <laughs> but. We're just like drunkenly wandering up the steps, you know? So yeah. <laughs> we like take a step, but it's like sideways. So you're still on the same step. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Slightly off balance. <laughs> yeah. But this place is sick, dude. We can smoke weed here. We probably won't, but it's pretty crazy we couldn't do that at your house. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I guess like you not live, really. Like in like, like we mean, had to get a studio could, to fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. get in trouble. People would be like fucking pissed. Yeah. <laughs> you have to re-renovate your apartment again. Yeah, I've only smoked in my apartment a few times. Yeah. When there's like lots of construction going on there, which there is again, which that stopped us from recording so many times. But when there's lots of construction and noise and debris going everywhere, I'm like, ah, I can smoke or do whatever I want. And yeah, yeah, right. Fuck these people. Like, <laughs> yeah, if they're getting best asbestos in my fucking living room, yeah. I can <laughs> smoke a little weed. Yeah, they're digging into the earth now. There's just like different bugs and things like coming out. Really? Yeah. They're like redoing there's, the foundation? I think they're I think they're attempting to add uh apartments underneath us like in the we have the garage underneath us i think they're ripping out the ground and then trying to make it lower so that they can build another couple units dude you're gonna sink into the earth i know you're gonna wake up one day in a hole <laughs> I mean, like, oh fuck <laughs> I, I called the la housing department i was like can you come check this out because i'm on the floor below and it feels like i might be sinking a little bit. i'm like they're destroying <laughs> yeah. the foundation <laughs> And cutting right into my floor. Dude, they're going to split L.A. down the fucking middle. They're just going to cause yeah. the big earthquake. I know. Like, we're having earthquakes here still. And it's like, they just leave things open for months. There's, it's wild. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> well, we're doing better now, dude. Now we're, there's no construction here. They're not yeah. adding shit. No. To the fucking the foundation. Perfect. Yeah, dude. It was good. Dude, I, I got to start today with a headline that I found that, is one of the funniest things to me. I have to write. I had to write it down so I can read it properly. Yeah. Uh, industrial robot crushes man to death in South Korean distribution center. Machine apparently identified man inspecting it as one of the boxes it was stacking. Yeah, dude. It's a good thing. If the robot apocalypse is just guys who are boxy, we're okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be all right. How how square? <laughs> what shape was this guy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was he squatting to smoke in the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like he looks kind of like a box. <laughs> <laughs> how quick was the machine that it was able to just yeah grab this guy and 
Squish him to death? Yeah. That's... Also, who's stacking boxes that aggressively? <laughs> yeah. You're fucking killing I guys. Know. They better have been wooden boxes. I, I mean, I imagine cardboard boxes when I hear boxes. Yeah. But I guess they could have been wood crates. Yeah. Their box is made of bone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're metal. Yeah. For ammunition. They're ammunition boxes. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, that's yeah, exactly. Makes a little more sense, I guess. Yeah, right. Yeah, dude. I'm not. If the robot apocalypse is just box stacking robot, I was expecting like one of those dogs to fucking go crazy or something like that. Not like a like yeah. a factory robot. Also, I didn't know we were doing that yet. The robots factory and robots? factories. Yeah, there's for sure robots and factories. Yeah. Also, it's like it's like how much of a robot was it? Was it like a full on like arms and legs robot, or is it one of those like arms, those like giant arms? Yeah, just like just, a forklift. You know, yeah, <laughs> like. People get... Yeah, this is a guy driving a forklift. That's not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a guy, robot is. The guy dove off the forklift. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like... Robot no, kills look, seven. You know, like, <laughs> <AI>. <laughs> drove a forklift into a guy. <laughs> well, so it's like... It's talked about like there's no accidents in, in these factories before robots. There was tons of accidents and people dying. Yeah, exactly. You know? People have been Much jumping into cool machinery. Ways. Well, people have been <laughs> jumping into machinery since machinery. You know yeah. what I mean? That was like the whole child labor thing. That fucking kids were getting sucked into textile machines and shit, yeah. dude. You know what I mean? So trying were to those back, robots? Trying to bring back child labor at the same time as making robot labor. And like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right? Why are we using both? Yeah. I feel like robot labor is the better <laughs> of the two. You don't have to use child labor, too, if you got robots now. I know. It's a... Uh, they get paid the same? That it's sucks. Like, it's like the it's like the people who are scared of robots. They're like, let's just put kids back in the factories. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> yeah. Kids are disposable. You know, robots are expensive. I could take a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I could take a robot. <laughs> yeah, you're, no one's worried about a, a fucking, child uprising. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that's, a children's crusade. That's, yeah. a, that's a joke. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the Lord of the Flies. Like, <laughs> yeah. Robot uprising is terrifying, dude. Yeah. yeah. Bunch of children with like the nuclear codes. I don't think they could even, they can't even count that high. <laughs> the buttons are too high for them to push, probably. <laughs> they should be at least. <laughs> is there a, a child safety lock on any of those big red buttons that we have? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gotta hit the, like hit the door on accident. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Smacking it. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm not. Robots are getting smarter, but not uh, all the ones that move around, like that are autonomous and whatnot. Those aren't doing well. Like all the all the uh, auto driving cars and whatnot keep fucking up. And oh, yeah, like, I saw the guy to ban those. The guy got dragged. There's a guy in like uh, San Francisco who's uh, he puts cones on top of them and they stop moving. What? Because they can't. You just put like a cone on them, and they're fucking screwed, dude. They can't. They can't move at all. What do they think it is? What is it? Like a person on the car or something like that? They're like just designed to not move when something's like touching them. So they're just like going around San Francisco, putting cones on them. I just, I just read that one in San Francisco like dragged a guy down the street. So maybe they were trying to update it so the cone thing didn't. Yeah. Well, didn't I don't stop think it, it's funny. It's like yeah, it only too far. It only stops if you hit the top. <laughs> like, that yeah. seems like a bad design. Yeah. So someone has to the front. It, in the bottom totally cool you're like that's crazy it runs into you once you hit the top that's when it all stop but it will hit you first yeah it did yeah i'm not scared of robots as long as we can like stop them with cones you know yeah that does make them less they are like they're designed to not like cones you know what i mean it's like that's where one thing where like people got them beat you know what i mean we need a fail robots are like oh Cones over here, I can't go here. <laughs> People are like, I can fucking think yeah. about this. At least keep them where like water ruins them or something. They yeah. need to have something that... Yeah, they gotta be kind of destructible. Yeah. All these indestructible robots we're building, pretty risky. Yeah, that's that's the bad side. Is the <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't make that so strong and learning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't even like people who who learn too much and are that strong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those people are fucking. I don't need these fucking warrior poets walking around doing these robotic fucking. No way. Yeah. And give me the dumb dogs. You know what I mean? Those d little dog things. Are the dogs dumb? They better be. <laughs> they, better. they better be using dog brains and those fucking. <laughs> I don't need if a learning dumb, does, dog chasing me around. That sounds terrifying. If they're dumb, does it make them less or more aggressive, though? 
I mean, I imagine it's like a, uh, you know, pacifying kind of dumb, like, yeah. like a medicated right. kind of dumb, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Not like a pissed off at the world dumb, like, <laughs> I'm confused, so I'm pissed. Yeah, I'm not angry. fearful dumb. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I like that. We're we gonna make them the right, they gotta learn from, they just need to, to like, teach them from the, the sweet dogs. Dogs yeah. that are nice and dumb and chase their tails and are cuddly and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. That yeah. kind of dumb. Not the dumb ones that just bite anything yeah like a choking hazard dumb you know I mean? <laughs> yeah like that might it might kill itself you leave it alone for too long that's <laughs> like that kind of stupid yeah can we make it where the dogs can choke still <laughs> like on chicken bones or something that's the weakness still for the <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> choke was, on human bones i was thinking about this the other day when i got my uh my dog when he's still a puppy um a friend was watching him for a little bit we were out like a park or something uh or we were at a, like at one of the concerts. He was out on the road with me, and uh, the guy who was watching it like took credit for saving him, but was also the reason he almost died. He was uh, he was like, "Yeah, I saved your dog from uh, from swallowing this chicken bone." I reached into his mouth, like pulled it out. His stupid dog tried to eat the chicken bone, and then I see him, and he's he's the one eating chicken wings, and he's just throwing the bones on the ground. <laughs> And I'm like, you don't get the credit for saving him. If you start a fire, just because you put it out, yeah. doesn't mean you're I a saved this baby hero. from the fire I started. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess that's good. You did. He did save the baby. He did. <laughs> he regretted his past yeah, decisions. I guess it fucking worked out. <laughs> Still created the issue. Yeah. People love taking credit for the good thing, no matter what <laughs> what yeah. they did to get there. Yeah, exactly. They're like, <laughs> I know I started this fire. <laughs> what else? We never had a list before. This is good. I know. Wrote down a handful of some some random things. You said the Gambino. Could, they arrested some people. The Gambino crime family. Yeah. So I didn't real? read. I didn't read much. I mean, I didn't read much anything on most of these stories, but that one I just saw. They like just arrested a handful. Of uh, Gambino Mafia family in Sicily and in the U.S. Man. Can you imagine getting stuck on Gambino duty? <laughs> like a fifty-year-old fucking. Who cares, dude? Let them go. <laughs> they did it. <laughs> just like great, great, great grandchildren. They're like, We're, yeah. we literally They're just like, have I the own name. a deli. Leave me alone, <laughs> yeah. please. Yeah, I don't know how we yeah. got the deli. My, my but... last name is just Gambino. <laughs> it's not even. <laughs> they probably got him on something minor too. They always get mafia. Yeah, it's always like long, yeah, it's like a tax thing uh, or rac a, yeah, racketeering. Not paying your car <laughs> off for some shit. I know. Just <laughs> this stop. guy, he got twenty years for an expired car registration. You're yeah, like, hey. I was watching. That, <laughs> I think that's uh, about something else. <laughs> there's a Gotti documentary right now. I was watching that, and they one of the ways they almost got him was he got into like a street fight with someone who wanted him to move his car, and then that guy tried. To sue him, not realizing who it was, and then that guy ended up in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and then decided not to sue him. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> After getting beat up twice. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, man. That's cool they're still going. I mean, I didn't think the mob was like still around, you know what I mean? I thought it was just like like kind of like the Crips now or something. You know yeah, I mean? it's more that like, might be old too. It's like the MS thirteen now. Or I mean, it's like the, the cartels. organized mob. The mob's just more organized, I think. It's just part of of society at this point. They still run plenty of things. I saw it was like they're running like a lot of uh, mafia stuff is like in the food delivery world. Like the mob oh, runs a lot of like good. like all the food carrying like chips, like yeah. the big trucks carrying chips and shit. That's so all like fucking mob run now. Someone was telling me recently that Bed Bath and Beyond was started by these all just sound like real started things. Started by too. mafia. When is it, it started, not the mob anymore? And just like a guy opening a business. It was started by the mafia because they were hijacking trucks of stuff. And they just had all of this random stuff, and so they made a store for <laughs> a bunch of stuff, <laughs> which I really hope it's true. It's that's one of those things. I'm like, I'm not even going to question that. I don't care if it's true, true <laughs> yeah. or not. It's I don't have enough guys to sell all this stuff. <laughs> what if we just had one big guy? We got a bunch of bed stuff. We got a bunch of bad bath stuff, and <laughs> and, then, and then other and then other stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was the big bed bath score. <laughs> They still had a bunch of other shit. <laughs> this is the biggest bed bath score in the fucking history of the city. Yeah. 
What are we going to do with it? This stuff's hot right now. They're just hitting J.C. Penney's <laughs> yeah. trucks or something. Like I don't even know what it would have been. These Tempur-Pedic mattresses are too hot for the street. <laughs> Gotta open it's, up a fucking uh, brick and mortar. Yeah, the, the first Bed Bath & Beyond was just some <laughs> dude in a van being like, this stuff fell off of a truck. <laughs> yeah, what's beyond is what I fucking take you to if you're yeah. at. Yeah, that's what Beyond's I'm where you end up if you say shit. <laughs> 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 you tell anyone this happened. <laughs> I'll fucking send you. <laughs> when I, where I grew up, we always had, I, I had the people who had the stolen speakers. Yeah, uh, car speakers were like a, a becoming a big thing. Oh yeah, the um, subs and stuff. And did. Yeah, Every, and all my so they were selling those at events. That was the like. Yeah, yeah. I've got these cars. If you want them right now for four hundred dollars, <laughs> they're like twelve hundred dollars speakers. <laughs> like I don't know what fucking <laughs> gas station you fucking stole these from. Yeah, like, I don't drive <laughs> do or have these? money. <laughs> <laughs> I had a buddy. He just wanted subs so bad. He like had this like. Pretty cool car. He wanted like a truck with subs in it. Mm -hmm. And he uh, he had this like pretty decent car, traded it down for a truck that this other guy wanted for his truck. And so he got this shittier truck, traded the other guy. Turns out this truck is like, it's basically like fucking about to fall apart. You know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> it's from like 1989. It looks cool, but it's like terrible. And the guy ended up on like a moped within like a year. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> He's not good pretty, at trading. Yeah. He really <laughs> traded himself into, again, you can't put subs on a moped. You know what I mean, <laughs> I mean you fucking, could. It's going to, it's fucking gonna balance flew it out too properly. close to the sun. Yeah. Over there, you know what That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's wild to want the speakers that bad. Yeah. You're just going to downgrade yourself. Yeah. There was the story of someone who like traded, uh, Traded through like online marketplaces or whatnot, like a started with like a paper clip and eventually got himself to like a house, or something, okay. which is much the other way. One guy was good at trading this, yeah, you, yeah. The guy you know, well, not good. My buddy, he watched he those videos, up. definitely. Yeah. He was He's like, like you can. I've seen people trade trading. up, yeah, <laughs> trading. It's like, no, you got to get something better and more expensive, <laughs> not worse. <laughs> and cars are so easy to trade up for. You just yeah. like look it up. Yeah, you can tell. You'd be once. like, is this worth more than this? <laughs> no. Okay. Never yeah. mind. We there's it's too easy to look any of that stuff up now that you shouldn't get yeah. had like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, getting screwed in a card like you gotta be stupid. Dude. Yeah. Like how do you Very not impulsive. how do you not look up anything <laughs> talking to a guy? <laughs> I'm just gonna go on instinct. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I get that, it in like 1980 or some shit, dude, or like even like the 2000s. But yeah, now, dude. Yeah, even everyone's a car expert now, dude. You can just fucking Google it. Yeah, there's you know, like... <laughs> Kelly Blue Book's very helpful for that. <laughs> Still yeah. a thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, this was one of the ones that uh, the stories that was absolutely insane. That <laughs> it was just stupid. Uh, there's. It was like a crocodile farm, but there was like 3,000 crocodiles that uh, all started fucking after they flew some helicopters low, and it just turned on the Whoa. crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that's what does it for them. <laughs> and like vibrates the water, and you're like, oh, yeah. what's this <laughs> feeling? <laughs> they just start violently fucking each other. <laughs> really? <laughs> I didn't get to see video yet. I'm sure there is some out there. I saw, I saw a still image, which... <laughs> Crocodiles, it says they're mating. It it looked like they could have been fighting. I don't know. It all looks the same to me. With yeah, crocodiles. just thrashing around the water. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know if they're choosing a specific mate or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's very funny. Helicopter's doing it for me. That's never done it. I'm more of an, uh, more of an airplane guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like, it was uh, like yeah. the Howard Stern speaker trick. For <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Straddles the speaker. Sit here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good. Helicopter, the washing machine of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the motion of the ocean. No, it is about the yeah. motion of the ocean. It's about <laughs> the motion that shakes the ocean. I don't know. <laughs> It's not how big, it's how you use it. <laughs> <laughs> it's what a weird job, too. There's like people who spend their entire lives just studying animals, like mating techniques. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, why did like what, was it an experiment or they just flew I low? Think, I think they knew that it does this. Really? At first, okay. I saw it and I was like, I was like, oh, there's just a helicopter that flew low, and they saw that. I think this they found happened. this out in like but Vietnam. I think they did. <laughs> <laughs> that was something they saw in like fucking 
<laughs> like I don't know. Hill, like Bunker Three. I, I think <laughs> like this was in Australia. <laughs> okay. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Well, like I mean, like in the Vietnam maybe, War. Yeah, they may have found like... it over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just like they just fucking, they did it to attract just flying, crocodiles. Like they're just like flying low, looking for fucking Viet Cong, and being like, "Yo, <laughs> those crocodiles are fucking loving this." <laughs> we That's just gotta, sick. we just gotta lure the enemy over to this crocodile enclave, <laughs> and then, and then fly yeah. a helicopter real low. Yeah. That's why it was so dangerous to fly helicopters in Vietnam. Because <laughs> yeah, it riled up the crocodiles. That was the only reason I could think of. That's why there's so many deaths. <laughs> they were trying to shoot them down to stop the crocodiles from fucking them. <laughs> That's fun. What a good. Oh yeah, Sam Bakeman Freed went down, dude. Your oh, boy. Yeah. I'm getting your doppelganger. I, I always know when he's in the news because people start calling me him, him again. <laughs> you know, you look like. Yes, I know. And you're even your last name's. Cl- yeah, I know. I get it, dude. He got. He's getting like 120 years or some shit. Yeah, I think they he's still doing like murder sentencing. time for nerd crimes. <laughs> Who does fucking, you got to do That's something impressive. bad. Dude. You got to do something bad to get murder time for being a dweeb. That's- <laughs> 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 the judge is like this fucking dweeb just yeah, fucking, put him in jail yeah, forever shove him in a fucking locker for 120 years that's, that's how i know he didn't come from money he didn't come from wealth because if yeah, he no came one from stood that up class, for him. Yeah, everyone's like no this is new money guy we don't like him yeah, fuck this dude you can do white collar cl- crimes as long as you come from you yeah know, as long as your last name's world. like morgan yeah <laughs> I'm, like, I'm good yeah that is wild i mean he ultimately did just steal like over a billion dollars. Yeah. Well, his name is like bank fraud. You know? It's like, I mean, like it looks like fucking <laughs> Sam bank fraud. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking Sam bank I mean, fraud. Bank you should have seen this coming. Yeah. If you got fired, it's your fault. You're a fucking idiot. Trusting a guy named bank fraud. <laughs> this is Freudian slip a few times. Yeah, right, Sam exactly. bank fraud. I mean, bank yeah, it freed. sounds like a fake name. Freed, man. <laughs> freed. <laughs> Sam Bankman Freed. I can. <laughs> Can I have your money? I was uh, an assistant before this. Uh, yeah, exactly. But I'm, I probably know what I'm doing. Well, wasn't he doing? He was like he'd take the money that people invested in, and then he never gave them any coins actually, and just took their money to something else and like bought I property. Think right? So, wasn't and it? he had like so, an investment firm. There was like two things that he had. One was like an investment firm or something, and he just funneled the money through. Mm-hmm. Through that, okay, of whatever it was, but yeah, it sounds like he basically just took the money and sounds like also if he's investing in real stuff. estate. Sounds like sound investing. Yeah, Honestly, I mean, like thanks for buying property instead of fucking <laughs> fake money that doesn't exist. Like, <laughs> I wonder if he was just like, no, this was like, the investment. Like, I yeah. made money for my <laughs> clients. <laughs> yeah, I bought you a house. <laughs> and they're like, kill him. <laughs> he probably just needed to last like. A few more months, and then everything collapsed, anyways. And then, yeah. You know, but I, I imagine people were trying to take their money out as things were collapsing. And he's just like, uh, "I don't, I don't have." Yeah, maybe that's <laughs> what money. it was. Yeah, if they just held on, you know, if you just hold a little longer, <laughs> they didn't have diamond hands. That, yeah. was, that was the problem. Yeah, exactly. Their hands were flimsy. <laughs> <laughs> he's in court he's just like my he's clients, like, my clients <laughs> they don't have diamond hands bunch of rock handed idiots I told them we were going to the moon they stopped early in the clouds they didn't get there <laughs> these are the kind of people who sold doge early your yeah. honor <laughs> I bet they don't even use rocket emojis on a daily basis you know <laughs> Yeah, you got a bunch of NFTs, right? Didn't you? Yeah, you were doing I had, that for a minute. I had a few. I did. Uh, How did that go? Not great. I got a few <laughs> of them out, and then a few worked, a few didn't. I was like, first, I was curious on on the stuff behind it, and so I wanted to try and figure that out. And then I was like, and I know this is gambling, and I know I like gambling. Yeah, gambling's fun. And so nothing wrong with gambling. I did it at the. It was the fun time of it for a little bit, and then yeah, and then it all. Yeah. Went to shit, which I saw. I saw that happening. Yeah. I was like, it's yeah, cool it's when like happen. Snoop Dogg's involved. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's when it's fun. <laughs> when all the fucking like PG celebrities kind of move out of it, you're like, oh, this is getting dark. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> it was. I mean, it was similar to like trading cards and things like that. And I'm like, I watched how this goes, and it goes good, and then it goes bad, and then at some point, some of them are sort of worth something again. Yeah. You know, and most of them are not. Most I got tons of basketball cards that are also worth nothing now. I still have yeah. a bunch of Dogecoin, dude. Yeah, I'm still waiting, dude. I just keep. We're going, dude. <laughs> We're going all the way. One of those still. <laughs> I mean, some of the the coins and stuff are gonna hit and work again. 
Yeah. They're, they're not, they're still not nothing. That's a crazy side. People are like, Bitcoin's down to like nothing. It's still almost $30,000. It started at a fraction of a penny. It's 30000 now? Jeez. There's still nothing else that has gained like that about. crazy <laughs> amount of value like <laughs> yeah. that fast. But no, none of it's, none of it's like, uh, steady investment still buy gold or silver or whatever probably <laughs> yeah right <laughs> i'm gonna buy fucking instead of buying diamond hand stuff get actual diamonds <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly those are probably better <laughs> <laughs> yes we're gonna cut off hands <laughs> that are made of diamond <laughs> yeah i love me some diamonds dude invest in diamond mines yeah. That's what you should do, you know? That brings back Those the child labor. Back yeah, to exactly. child labor yeah, again. You exactly. Know? Child <laughs> labor is forever, dude. And that's a good... We've always had it. We always will. <laughs> it does. It keeps happening, and we just, like, ignore it a bit. But it, it, there was, there was like, the most amount of it in the U.S. in the last year or two. There was, like... Well, yeah, dude. You ever, like, fucking order Postmates, and, like, a kid gives you your food? <laughs> and like, where, for, where am I? And that's not what even the What country side. am I in? That's not even the side I'm talking about. They, they had them in factories and shit again. Really? Yeah. Jesus. No way, dude. And there's... There's some there's some like Midwestern states trying to make it where like 15 and 16 year old can go back to factory work and I mean I had a restaurant job at like 16 stuff. but that was like that's different that doesn't yeah. seem like child labor it's like I want to buy a guitar yeah <laughs> and like that's like kids were getting injured that was like how they were finding out I think <laughs> yeah. kids are like Damn. going to school and then going to work and then going back to school and so they're like exhausted Jesus Christ and they're working in factories I mean. Yeah, Man. and they then you like, the, can you imagine working all day in a factory a and you go to do math and you're like, I suck at math. Maybe the factory is where I belong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, science yeah. is hard. Yeah, <laughs> English is tough too. God damn it, I am a factory guy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was fucking. I'm good at the factory. I can do I could, factory. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely not being an astronaut, dude. That's for sure. <laughs> It does suck. It kills your dreams yeah. pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or, yeah, it's you know, a, I'm really you... good at canning. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> or it pushes you the other way. I suck at PE. He... I'm good at canning. <laughs> <I suck> at... <laughs> I'm not good at anything here. <laughs> My calling is fucking this. Jesus. You've got like a good teacher. Your teacher's like, you can be anything you want. You're like, no, I'm good at yeah, factory. It's too I late do for me. Already. <laughs> yeah, he's smoking. It's too late for me, man. <laughs> bringing back smoking that's another thing i don't know why that's making a comeback <laughs> it's wild we're like just bring back everything abortions being fought again yeah <laughs> do you think in like china when they open a new like child factory people are like you know crime is down <laughs> It's better than gangs. Yeah, there's, there's, at least they're not in gangs. Less graffiti on the streets. <laughs> yeah. Penny, no one has stolen stuff from my store <laughs> in like a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, it, probably, it for sure cuts down on petty crimes because petty crimes are a, a kid thing. Yeah, those are the yeah murders. Well, you know, sometimes some crazy kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. Less so, some. probably. Yeah. No, I was a petty crime kid. I would, <laughs> I'd steal like Snickers bar just because it was fun, you know? Yeah. It was good. You're like, I'm really rebel. I'm I'm going against this big corporation. That's what I always say, you know? Yeah. And I'm stealing <laughs> from like Foodland, like a <laughs> local fucking grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> you know, lo your local like, convenience yeah. store. You're like, I still I'm, really, I'm pay fighting for the this man, stuff. dude. Yeah, exactly. And someone, someone's livelihood is fucking. Yeah, you steal for Targets and, and Walmart. Yeah. Apparently they track you. Did you know that? No. When you like, uh, like if you steal stuff, they like they remember your face oh. and then they sue you later. Apparently, because because you have to steal like over five hundred or a thousand or something. It's got to be enough money that they can prosecute you. Yeah. So they 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 keep it like that. I have heard about that, which is nice. So you can steal under like two fifty. Yeah, you just got to keep it under. Is that I like a month per year? Or per yeah, month? that, that would that? be insane. <laughs> yeah. You're allowed to steal up to twelve thousand dollars a year. <laughs> I'm about to be shit. out of my yearly, my monthly <laughs> quota of theft. That's why everyone's like, "Man, can you believe you can just like California's a fuck? You can just steal from stores." You're yeah. like, "Yeah, cool." Yeah, <laughs> which ones? <Yeah. laughs> Make a list. Yeah, exactly. That should be on Yelp. <laughs> Target. And People are stealing from Gucci. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> More stars on Yelp if you can steal. <laughs> There's like, you know, it'll have the dollar signs for like how expensive a place is. It should have those like crossed out if you can steal from. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> how easy is it to steal from this place? That's what I want to know. There's like a Yelp. For thievery, yeah. <laughs> I worked retail jobs. In all of them, you weren't allowed to chase people. 
you weren't allowed to like chase people out, you could get in trouble. Yeah, that was our like, thing. Yeah, if you get if you chase someone, you're fired and you're gonna get sued. We're not gonna be behind you. We had one time my buddy stole board shorts from Walmart. Yeah, and uh, the guy like caught him. And fucking like security guy, and he like just booked, he like escaped and got away. And we like snuck around, and they're like looking for him in this like golf cart and shit. We like ran over to Home Depot, for and I was shorts? like, yeah, and I was like, you fucking idiot, dude. We're supposed to go to the beach and hang out. Like, you're He's fucking. Like, That's you're... why I cut the board shorts. <laughs> yeah, it's like you have board shorts. You're just a kleptomaniac. You fucking. <laughs> I'm a new board short. People saw me in the other ones yesterday. <laughs> yeah. But like we were like trying to figure out how to get the hell out of here. We like snuck back to his car, and his wheel got like unlocked. And they were like halfway out of the fucking uh, area and or like out of the uh, parking uh, spot, you know, mm-hmm. like blocking the fucking road. And we're like, you're going, you're fucked, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and I'm probably screwed because I'm next to you. Yeah, and then I, the security guard found him, um, like found us, we, like pulled up and he's like, hey, something wrong with your guy's car? And he like fixed the wheel and we like drove out there. <laughs> <laughs> Kai's like, what? what a good Samaritan. Like, That's awesome. I had a buddy and he stole a mountain bike from Walmart and he just took the mountain bike and walked out with it like he had walked in with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing too, as long as you're cool enough. Yeah. Like just be casual. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, you just have to you just have to act like you know what you're doing. You yeah. know? Don't act like you're stealing the bike. Don't look sketchy. He did not run. He did not ride the bike out. Nope. Just just walked it out of there. We had buddies who would go into like a grocery store and they just grab two thirty racks of beers and like get like three people to just do this, grab two thirty racks, and just everybody sprints out. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, What the fuck's happening? And pretty much like everyone got away every time, dude. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> This Some is a fucking good high school video, fucking yeah. pieces of shit. That was so funny. <laughs> yeah, there was like they can't catch all of us. There's a gas station uh, near me in high school that a bunch of people would do that. They're like, they st- I think they started closing the place at a certain time at night. So like, <laughs> yeah. Everyone just comes in and steals beer from us. <laughs> That's when it's like, hey man, just sell the beer to the underage kids. They'll they'll buy it if you sell it to them. Yeah, right. They're Maybe. already working at the mean, factory all day, yeah. dude. <laughs> Throw them a beer. If if you are allowed to have a long day at a factory, you should be able to come home and have a nice cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> Your life's not getting any better or going anywhere. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're already getting dumber from fucking the head trauma you're probably yeah. getting at the factory. <laughs> all the fumes you're inhaling. Yeah, at least let you numb all the back pain that you have now. All the <laughs> early onset. Yeah, back they stop. Making oxycodone, so <laughs> yeah. it's probably probably for the best. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why we need more child label labor. They're like the uh, opioid epidemic really hit our factory workers hard. <laughs> we <laughs> yeah. need new blood. Everyone's in here. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, back to <sighs> robots. Uh, that's what we, need. <laughs> yeah. we need robot workers. Just keep them dumb. <laughs> um. Yeah, this has been a new episode of Two Dog Babies in this fucking sweet new studio. Yeah, we did and, it, dude. Uh, I'm Eric Friedman. I'm Willie Simon. Thanks for listening, guys. This was fun. Good to be back. Yeah. We love you. See you next week. Bye. Bye.